So what I want to talk to you about today uh, is a little bit of cold weather survival stuff, specifically how your body loses heat. So there's an acronym I use that uh, kind of came up with called WEEP, as in crying, which is what you're going to do if it gets really cold. Um, a lot of people have a hard time remembering, you know, the convection, conduction, all, all that stuff. So what I've kind of, I don't really like acronyms, but I kind of use this acronym of, of WEEP. So the first thing is the W, that's wind and weather, right? So that's going to suck the heat away from you. Uh, the next thing is the earth, and this is a big one, is that if you don't have something that is uh, preventing the earth from sucking the heat away from you, I, a giant pile of leaves or a sleeping mat or something, the earth will really, really suck the, suck the heat right out of you. And the next E is exposure, so that means skin exposure. So even if it's just a thin layer, you want to make sure to cover as much of your skin up as humanly possible. And the P stands for precipitation or perspiration. So basically water on your skin, right? So whether that water was sweated out of you or whether that water came from the sky, it really kind of does the same thing. And again, really sucks the, sucks the heat out of you. So <clears throat> I'm out here on my front porch it's a very chilly morning, and um, I have the SOL Escape Bivy. Um, and what I'm going to kind of do is test it with this digital thermometer to see what kind of room I'm getting in here, what kind of uh, room, what kind of uh, what kind of temperature readings I'm getting inside of the thing, as opposed to what's on the outside. So let's see how it goes. All right, so I'm outside on my porch. Uh, current temperature outside is 37 degrees. Let's get another reading. Thirty-five degrees. So I have the SOL Escape Vivi, as you can see, and then a Thermarest mat, and all that's going to do is protect uh, protect me from the ground sucking out uh, sucking out the heat. <laughs> so I don't have any shoes or socks on. One of the things that people kind of mess up with bivvies like this is that you have to completely encapsulate yourself in them. You can't just sleep with it like a blanket like this because the majority of your heat <coughs> gets lost through your head. Pretty common, uh, pretty common knowledge. A lot of people don't think about that. So what we have to do is actually get this thing zipped all the way up it's not very roomy and then we're gonna do pull this drawstring where it's just allowing the air to escape from our breath so we're not breathing in uh, breathing in our own breath and hyperventilating all right so I'm in the bivy um, and been there for about five minutes taking temperature readings and depending on where I go if I'm going down by my feet it's uh, <clears throat> anywhere from 60 to 80 degrees inside here um, it's about 30 or so degrees outside so I'll take a take a reading down by my feet it's a little not very roomy but 
We got 68 degrees. Take a reading right here. 76 degrees. All right, so as you can see, the temperature inside the bivy while I was in there um, was pretty warm. I mean, you're talking about the same kind of temperature that you would have in your house. So there's a couple mistakes that people make, you know, other than what I've already talked about with these kind of bivvies, is that one, they just lay them directly on the ground. And like I said before, the ground is gonna suck that heat right out of you. Um, this thing breathes. Uh, so as opposed to regular Mylar blankets that kind of trap that condensation, this thing is designed to release the condensation. So one of the other big mistakes that people that people do with uh, with these kind of things, and almost everything I read, you know, when I was looking into this particular bag, had this had this same occurrence. People were like, "Ah, oh, this thing sucks." Um, I used my sleeping bag inside of it. Blah 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 blah. That's not what it's designed for. So what you actually do when you put a sleeping bag inside here or really really heavy clothes is that you create the P of what I was talking about earlier in WEEP, you create perspiration. You create also condensation inside of the bag. So you're creating a water source inside that is soaking everything that you're wearing because you're getting actually too hot and then you wake up you know, a couple hours later and you're freezing cold and you can't figure out why, you're like, ah, oh, this thing sucks. It's not designed to, to do that. So you're creating too much water that can't get out of the bag fast enough. So I, you know, for using a bag like this, one, it's primarily for emergencies only. Uh, I'm gonna do a full, uh, full overnight and, and see how it goes. Um, but for bags like this, you want a good ground cover. So whether that's uh, a mat, or whether that's you know in a survival situation a big pile of leaves or, or pine boughs or whatever whatever you have to use you don't want to be sleeping directly on the ground and then two you need to get out of some of those clothes you know so if you're using a base layer or you're using uh, you know your whatever whatever you have don't pile a bunch of clothes or sleeping bag or whatever on because what you're actually going to do is be fine for a little bit and then you're going to wind up sweating um, because you're going to create it. It's going to be too hot in there. I mean, it was pushing 80 degrees, you know, some of those some of those places. So if I were to put a sleeping bag on top of that, you might be pushing up to, you know, close to 85, 90 degrees. You're going to start sweating. Um, and that is not what you want in a uh, in a really cold situation. So just some stuff to think about. Um, I'll do another video uh, after I do the, uh, the overnight with, uh, with just the bivy. But uh, if you're gonna have gear, learn how to use it properly, right? Because if you don't, and you don't understand the, the mechanics of how things work and, and, uh, and how to use that gear properly, some, sometimes gear can actually be counterproductive um if you're using it in the wrong way stay safe and get out there and enjoy uh get out there and enjoy the outdoors